Howdy doody buckaroonies, you know, big gumdrop back at it again. And today we're back in the kitchen and we are cooking up some walleye. So actually that's the pike and that's the walleye. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to prepare. I'm gonna do the breading, all that good jazz, and then we're gonna go throw it out in the fryer. So let's go. So for my mix, I put some eggs, some bush light, and usually I just use 1% milk because that's what we have. And I'll mix it all in here. Um, the amount of eggs and the amount of milk that I use always depend on how much fish that I'm cooking. But today we got six bags in total, so we have a good amount of fish and I'll probably end up using more eggs and more milk and all that. But for now, that's what we're gonna start off with. And then the batter that I'm using is this Louisiana um, and I just got this New Orleans style. It has lemon added into it. Um, I think that's gonna taste pretty good and give it a little bit more of an extra pop. So we're gonna be trying that today. Um, let, let's get to mixing, let's get to cooking. We're gonna start off with the pike because the walleye is still oh, is a little frozen. I just finished the last of the pike, now we're moving on to the walleye, and I'm gonna walk you guys through the process that I'm doing real quick. So I'm grabbing this fish right here, this is the walleye, and all I'm doing is laying it in the pan, and then I'm laying them next to each other so they have enough room to breathe once they get into the grease. And then once I get it in the container, I'm just dropping it into the grease, throw that lid on top of it, add a little bit of pressure, and then all it takes, leave it in there for, I don't know, it's just, Depends, honestly. Um, first batches were going pretty slow, so I kept them in there for probably like two minutes. Now, grease is getting hot, everything's cooking quick, so I'm probably only gonna leave this in there for 45 seconds to a minute and a half, just checking it periodically, and then we'll be good to go. Finished up frying the fish, uh, about to take it inside with all the other fish, and then we're about to get to eat. Mm. Okay. Go ahead and eat, grab your food. Okay. <laughs> Mega cheese and corn, the last two were made by Kiki. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. And then you Shaq cut up the watermelon and, and helped out with the. Yeah, we also have brownies, but we gotta I mean, get low key. The way, kids so. they figure out about it, they're gonna be gone in seconds. So. Um, 
Thank you guys for hanging in there and sticking with this video. I hope you guys were able to learn something from it. And next time you catch or cook some fish up, it tastes pretty damn good. Also, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Bear Lonzo for helping me out with uh, doing some of the filming. It for sure took this video to a next level and just super thankful for him. Uh, I got some more stuff in the works. I've always gotten more stuff, new ideas in the works. I'm really excited to see where all this can go. So stay tuned, stay up to date with your boy. And we got some big things coming soon. Big Gumdrop out.